good morning children welcome back okay today we are going to learn a new chapter factorization you have already learned a few methods of factorization last year okay i will help you to recall what is factorization the process of writing an expression in the form of terms or brackets multiplied together is called factorization each term and each bracket is called a factor of the expression actually factorization is a reverse of multiplication now i'll show you one example 6x square plus 18x if you observe 6x square plus 18x what is the factor for 6 and 18 it is 6 x square and x it is x so if you take 6x as a common factor you remove 6x out what are you left with x and here from 18x if you remove 6x you will be left with 3 so you get 6x and x plus 3 6x and x plus 3 are the factors of the given expression okay now what are the different methods of factorization okay first one taking out the common factor okay how to do the factorization by taking out the common factor okay now the first one 2 of 2x minus 5y 3x plus 4y minus 6 of 2x minus 5y of x minus y now if you observe this sum there are two terms generally the terms are separated by plus or minus sign in this sum you have two terms now from these two terms first we will take out the common factor now among 2 and 6 what's a common factor it is 2 If you observe 2x minus 5, and here also you have 2x minus 5, take it out. 2x minus 5. Do you have any other common factor? No. So take 2 of 2x minus 5y from the first term. What will you be left with? 3x plus 4y. And from 6, if you take out 2, what are you left with? 3. And x minus y is this over no 2 of 2x minus 5y 3x plus 4y do the multiplication minus 3 into x minus 3x plus 3y so 2 of 2x minus 5y 3x and minus 3x gets cancel what are you left with 4y plus 3y which is equal to 7y okay now moving on to the next sum xy of 3x square minus 2y square minus yz 2y square minus 3x square plus zx 15x square minus 10y square If you observe here, here you have 3x square minus 2y square, 2y square minus 3x square. In this, 15x square and 10y square. What's the common factor for 15 and 10? So, xy of 3x square minus 2y square minus yz of 2y square minus 3x square plus The common factor for 15 and 10 is 5. So 5 zx of 3x square minus 2y square. Now here you have 3x square minus 2y square. Here you have 3x square minus 2y square. But if you observe this, this also has 3x square and 2y square, but the sign are different. The sign is different. instead of plus 3x square you have minus 3 and here you have plus 2y now if you have to change the sign of the terms within this bracket what will you do 
3x square minus 2y square. In order to reflect the change within the bracket, we will take the negative sign out. When you take the negative sign out, negative and negative will become positive. And automatically this becomes 3x square minus 2y square plus 5zx of 3x square minus 2y square. Okay. Now how many terms are there? You have 3 terms each separated by plus sign. Now what is the common factor? 3x square minus 2y square. When you remove 3x square minus 2y square from the first term, you are left with xy. Next is yz and the next one is 5zx. So this is the, these are the factors of the given expression. Okay. So this is called factorization by removing the common factor. The next one is factorization by grouping. Okay. Factorization by grouping is we will group certain terms and then we will do the factorization. Here the first sum a cube plus a minus 3a square minus 3. If you take the first two you group it. So a cube plus a you are grouping and minus 3a square minus 3 you are grouping it. Out of this a cube plus a, what is the common factor? It is a. When you take a out, you will be left with a square plus 1. And from here, you can take minus 3 out. When you remove minus 3, when you take minus 3 out, you will be left with a square plus 1. So this is called grouping. We have grouped the first two terms together and the second, sorry, third and fourth term together. Now, again, you can do the further factorization. Here you have two terms. First one is a of a square plus 1. The second is minus 3 of a square plus 1. What is the common factor? The common factor among these is a square plus 1. From this, when you remove a square plus 1, you will be left with a. Similarly, from the second term, if you take a square plus 1 out, you will be left with a minus 3. So, these are the factors of a cube plus a minus 3a square minus 3. Shall we proceed on? The next is 16 of a plus b the whole square minus 4a minus 4b. So here it is 16 of a plus b the whole square. What is common among these two? It is minus 4. So take minus 4 as the common factor out. So you will be left with a plus b. Minus minus plus minus minus plus. So you get minus 4 of a plus b. See 16 and 4. The common factor will be 4. But here you have a binomial expression. a plus b the whole square and a plus b. If you want you can substitute the binomial expression in terms of monomial. That is you can take a plus b as x. So take let a plus b as x. So when you take a plus b as x, this expression will reduce to 16x square minus 4x. What we are doing here? We are substituting the binomial with the monomial. 16x square minus 4x. Now you can factorize it. What is the common factor for 16 and 4? It is 4. x square and x, it is x. So what will you get? 4 and x minus 1. So you get 4x of 4x minus 1. Now this is not your final answer. After doing factorization, you are supposed to 
substitute the value of x here. 4. What is x? 4 of a plus b. 4 of a plus b minus 1. Solve it further. 4 of a plus b of 4a plus 4b minus 1. So wherever you get binomial, try to substitute with the monomial and then do the factorization. Moving on to the next sum. If you observe here, it is ax plus by the whole square plus bx minus ay the whole square. Once again, ax plus by the whole square plus bx minus ay the whole square. Now, how are you going to factorize this? You know the expansion of a plus b the whole square and a minus b the whole square. So, a plus b the whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab. Similarly, a minus b the whole square is equal to a square plus b square minus 2ab. Now, using this expansion, we will expand these terms. So, what do you get? ax the whole square plus by the whole square plus 2ax by plus bx the whole square plus ay the whole square minus 2ax by. Okay. Now 2x by and minus 2ax by gets cancelled. Now what do you get? a square x square plus b square y square plus b square x square plus a square y square. Now you have reduced this term to four terms. Now what we can do here is we can do the grouping. If you observe this is a square x square here we have term b square x square. So I will group it a square x square plus b square x square plus b square y square plus a square y square. This two term can be grouped. Okay. Now what is common in this? It is x square. So what do you get? a square plus b square and here what is common? y square. You will get b square plus a square. In this, x square of a square plus b square, y square of b square plus a square. What is common in both? It is a square plus b square. So, you will get x square plus y square. That is, when you remove a square plus b square from this term, you will be left with x square. Similarly, when you remove a square plus b square from this term, you will be left with y square. Now coming to the next one, 2a minus b the whole square minus 10a plus 5b. Now 2a minus b the whole square, what is the common factor for 10a and 5b? If you observe minus 10 and 5, so minus 5 take it as a common factor. So you will be left with 2a minus b. Now 2a minus b the whole square minus 5 of 2a minus b. 2a minus b is a binomial. Represent the binomial with a monomial. Take 2a minus b is equal to x. So what do you get? x square minus 5x. Taking x as a common factor, you get x of x minus 5. Now, when you write the final answer, substitute the value of x in this expression. What is x? x is equal to 2a minus b. So it becomes 2a minus b, 2a minus b minus 5. Now coming to the next sum. a square plus 1 by a square minus 2 minus 3a plus 3 by a. If you observe this expression, a square plus 1 by a square minus 2. Now, you know the expansion of 
a plus 1 by a the whole square it is a square plus 1 by a square plus 2 similarly a minus 1 by a the whole square is equal to a square plus 1 by a square minus 2 so in place of a square plus 1 by a square minus 2 I will write it as a minus 1 by a the whole square. Now coming to the next two terms minus 3a plus 3 by a. If you observe this minus 3 and 3. So take minus 3 as a common term and then what will you get? a minus 1 by a. So your expression will be a minus 1 by a the whole square minus 3 of a minus 1 by a. So, again a minus 1 by a is a binomial. Take a minus 1 by a as x. So, your expression will become x square minus 3x which is equal to x of x minus 3. So, the final answer will be substitute the value of x which is equal to a minus 1 by a. So, a minus 1 by a of a minus 1 by a minus 3. So, these are the two methods which you learned today that is taking the common factor out and grouping. So, these are the first two methods of factorization. Now, you can make a note of the assignment with regard to these two methods. So, this is your assignment with respect to these two methods. Make a note of this. Thank you children.